Hey everyone, this is Kyle from Austin Custom Brass. Hope you're doing well there today. Just coming at you with an awesome video of this gorgeous, gorgeous instrument right here that we recently got in for sale at the shop. Man, look at the lines on this horn. <laughs> gorgeous, and check out these finger buttons. Um, this is a Monet instrument. This is an STC, so it's fairly new, but it's not as new as one of the um, like Unity models that they've been making. Um, this is the LT Plus model, so I believe it's one of their lighter models, um, but it's not as light as one of their like Maynard Ferguson models or something like that. It's it's closer to like the weight of a standard trumpet. Um, and it's not super heavy like most of the monas that I've played have been um, a bit heavier, although I did play on an LTJ for a while, which was a precursor, I believe, to one of these horns. Um, and this one in particular is different than the standard um, LT Plus because it has the larger um, P3 bell on it, um, which is the Prana 3, um, which was what Winton played on for a very long time. And I do believe he's playing on a variation of this horn um, currently. Um, I think it's a unity variation. I don't think it's the same one as this one. Um, but we have another one of these coincidentally in the shop. That's the Raja version with, I believe, the standard LT plus bell on it. Um, uh, just gorgeous, gorgeous instruments and they play incredibly well. Um, this one is in great shape. You can see there's a few, um, if the camera can pick them up, mute pings and things like that on the bell, um, which we are not going to remove. Um, Dave uh, states that it ruins the temper of the bell, so we don't want to touch it at all, basically. Um, but it also has these amazing sky blue turquoise inlays as well. Um, and it comes with three mouthpieces. Um, I believe the B4, they're all the B4 rim. Um, I believe it's around a 1.5 C in uh, the Monet charts. Um, so a little big for me, but I'm gonna use the mouthpieces it comes with for demonstration purposes on the video. Um, yeah, it's uh, really awesome. And it also has this really cool pocketed um, Phoenix on the second baluster right there. Um, some minor scratching and signs of use overall, um, but overall no, many, no major like dense dings. It did have some repairs done to the third slide crook right here. Um, that was non-Monet repair, um, the customer let us know. Um, so yeah, without any further ado, I'm gonna change the mic and play a bit on this mouthpiece. This one is um, a bit more shallow than um, the standard stuff, um, which is what I'm used to playing on, but let me switch the mic over and play a bit on this. Um, so it sounds great. It's very easy to play actually, which I know they say in their videos all the time, but it actually is <laughs> quite easy to play, especially with this, this mouthpiece. Um, this is a Prana mouthpiece. It's not a um, Unity mouthpiece. It is a resonance mouthpiece. So it predates um, the Unity stuff, but you check out that backboard is just gigantic. Um, and there's the cup size for your reference. If we'll focus, there we go. Um, yeah, uh, it's for me, it's pretty easy, even though it's, um, like I said, it's a one and a half diameter about, and then I play something around a seven to 10. So it, it's pretty different than what I'm used to playing, um, but it's quite awesome. Um, and then the other one, it comes with three mouthpieces, a more standard one, and then this is the, uh, the flumpet cup, I believe. So like trumpet flugel, again, large, large uh, cup on this guy. And again, big, big back bore. So this is more for like soloist kind of things, like small group kind of vibe. So I'll switch the mic over and play a bit on this one as well.
yeah, again, easy to get some real nice, dark, warm tones out of this horn um, with the flumpet cup mouthpiece. So it's quite a versatile instrument as well. And I really like this big bell on a wider way horn. That's kind of my vibe for uh, like the instruments that I build. Um, I think the combo goes really well. If you have like a horn with a big bell and it's heavy, it's like, it's cool, but it's not really my vibe, you know? Um, I really like this instrument. Check out the, the front Z brace there as well. A different and the awesome sculpted brace on the tuning slide there. Just a gorgeous, gorgeous instrument. Yeah, so thank you guys for joining me. If you have any questions at all about this horn, or any other horn that we have in the shop, please feel free to reach out. Um, like the video, comment, subscribe, and stay up to date with our future offerings. So without further ado, thank you so much, and we'll catch you next time.